guys, today I'm going to be doing a Rakhi get ready with me. I'm going to share my outfit, my makeup, my hairstyle, everything with you all. I think this is perfect for Rakhi as it's not super heavy, it's very easy breezy, even the outfit. It's just so, so practical and even the makeup is like pretty light. So yes, if you like what you see here, then please keep on watching. Starting off with primer, I'm using Maybelline's One Day Primer and it's quite illuminating and hydrating so I'm just going to massage this onto my skin. For foundation, I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. You can literally use anything that you like. I'm first dotting it on with the YBP Makeup Perfector and then I'm going to blend it out for a nice base. We are focusing on a more flawless base but of course you can go lower with coverage if you are not about that full coverage life. So I'm also going down my jawline and my neck to make sure everything matches everything and I don't have like a floating face. And then I'm going to take NARS concealer and I'm going to just conceal wherever I like. That's mainly under my eyes because hello dark circles. And I'm also going to apply this on my eyelid because it will prime it for eyeshadow. Feel free to add or subtract anything from this look. I'm also highlighting the centers of my face because that just brings more light to my face. So that's my forehead, my nose, cupid's bow, under my lips and my chin. I'm gonna give that concealer certain time to set so I'm using Hoola Picky Stick till then to contour my face and by the time I'm done with contouring my concealer will be nice and set so I get more coverage. So I'm just contouring my cheekbones as well as my jawline and blending it out with that same sponge. This is pretty easy to blend out and looks very natural and now my concealer has had a nice amount of time to set in and I'm blending everything out so that I get better coverage and my concealer doesn't move as much. So I'm again just normally blending it out, take your time with this step, nicely blended base is everything and more. Then I'm taking packed translucent powder and this is pretty softly milled and I'm very lightly dusting it around my eyes and I will also dust it around my mouth just keep it in place so that it does not crease that's the only area that I tend to crease and then I'm going to clean up my contour a little bit I'm not baking anything I'm just like literally applying a little bit of powder and pressing it in taking master chrome by Maybelline which is sadly broken I am going to highlight my cheekbones and of course the other areas but cheekbones for sure and it's pretty illuminating it's pretty pretty illuminating but I'm not going super heavy as I want to keep this slightly practical as well so yeah I'm just highlighting the other areas as you can see on your screen and then taking a blush which is not something that I usually do but I'm gonna mush it between my highlighter and contour and then I'm gonna take a finishing mist and just spritz my face with this so that everything meshes into everything with the help of my sponge and it looks all nice and like a family doing my eyebrows with Cabrow from Benefit and I'm not giving a new shape to my eyebrows I'm literally just filling in whatever I have so I'm not thickening up my brows like I generally tend to do this is just what I have and then taking a nice transition shade this is from Makeup Forever but again you can use any transition shade you can also use your bronzer for this and I'm blending it into my crease I'm also going to apply it to my lower lash line to balance my upper and my lower lid and of course repeating the same on the other eye. Taking this gorgeous shade from Club Clear which is a Korean company but you can use any shimmery brown shade. I'm going to apply this with my finger on my eyelid and then using my highlighter I'm going to apply it on the center of my lid and blend everything in with my finger and then with my brush. Using that same highlighter, the Master Chrome one, I'm also going to highlight my brow bone and then taking my mascara, I'm just going to apply it on my lashes. I told you it's super simple. You can also go in for a liner or kajal if you feel incomplete without that luckily i don't because i feel incomplete without lashes so i'm using samantha from huda if there's one lash from huda you want to get it's samantha it's beautiful you guys it's honestly beautiful you can of course skip lashes but i love it taking dazzle lip liner from kylie cosmetics and i'm just gonna like line and fill in my lips this will ensure my lipstick stays in place for the longest amount of time and of course because i'm filling it in so even if my lipstick fades away this will stay underneath it and for my lipstick, I'm going to be using a soft matte lip cream from NYX and it's in the shade Can and it's so gorgeous, almost similar to the, like it's almost same to the lip liner shade. And then I'm going to open my hair and tie it in a really high ponytail. This does not need to be neat or cute or anything, just slightly loose and normal. And then I'm going to take a strand at one time and I'm going to curl it with my curling iron. This is from Roots and this does not have a clip. This is like a rod. So if you're not so well versed with it, please make sure you use like a heat protecting glove. It does come with this set, but I just am like really comfortable with using it like this. So I'm just curling my hair like that with random sections. Make sure you use thin and thick sections so that you have different type of curls. And I'm going to do it all throughout my ponytail. And once that is done, I'm just going to let my hair loose. And I'm going to set it like I want to set it. And that's literally it. That's the look you guys it's really easy and this is the final look i wore this suit from rouge couture which is a store in chakurjat one of my favorites they do really good suits and like indian and generally like all of the clothes my jewelry is of course from my love suhana arts and jewels from chakurjat and 
yeah that is what i'm wearing i really like this look and i hope you did as well and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe do let me know if you like to see more indian get ready with me i'd love to do that and i will see you guys next time till then take care bye and i'm not gonna walk away sexy lean slow-mo oh yeah